this is a really cool example as to where we can use this. So you can be like, hmm, I need ores. Kind of hard to see down there, but boom, iron, coal, gold. Welcome to Optifine Zoom, but for Minecraft Bedrock. My name is Echo, and I hope you're having a great day. So today's video, I bring you a Zoom mod, but this is done with a client. Now, clients in the year 2021 are gonna be on the up. You're gonna start hearing more about them, you're gonna start seeing them. As Minecraft Bedrock becomes more developed, more things like this will be possible. So what I wanna do to start off today's video is go to Minecraft Java and pretty much compare the Java version of Optifine Zoom to the Bedrock version. So here's Minecraft Java. We're gonna simply go to a single player. I'm just gonna simply create a brand new world and I'm gonna simply load it up. So just in case no one believes I'm on Minecraft Java, if we just break this, I have subtitles that is not available on Minecraft Java. But if I press the F key, you can see where my offhand slot is. That is not available on Minecraft Bedrock. So one of the, the most well-known features for Optifine is the zoom ability. Now, automatically combined to my C key is the ability to zoom in. So you can see a lot further. It's incredibly helpful for finding villages, finding specific biomes you're looking for, and, and so much more. Like this is such a useful feature and now it's available for the Bedrock community. One thing I will mention though is this, when I'm looking left to right or right to left, you can see it like kind of slows down as you stop. That is not available on the Bedrock version. Anyway, let me show you guys how to install and use the Bedrock version. So I'm doing this on version 1.16.201. It should work for previous versions and also future versions as well. Now there'll be a link down below as to where you guys can check this out. We are going to this, which is GitHub. I also want to give a big shout out to Snowy who brought this to my attention. Now, as of me making this video, this has 10,000 plus downloads and we're basically doing this. And this is the Bedrock version. It's something so simple but it just makes your Minecraft experience a lot better. Now, this is created by XROIXHD, so full credit goes to him, links are down below. It looks like this was last updated on 8, 18th of September. I recommend bookmarking this page so you can keep updated with the updated versions. He has outlined that this is a work in progress, so I imagine things will change and improve as we go along. Now, down below will be a download, which is this one. Now, I already have this installed, right? This might pop up and say it's a virus. It's not a virus, and I can vouch that this works legitimately. Now, when you've downloaded it, I recommend making a separate folder. I just called mine FOV Changer. Inside of there, I have FOV Changer Client. Inside of that, I have the crash logs, FOV-Changer.exe, FOV-Changer.zip. Ignore that one for now. License, source code, and storage. JSON. Now, when you download this for the first time, it's going to be fov-changer.zip. So here's the steps to installing this. On your desktop, anywhere, create a brand new folder. Call it whatever you want. Call it fov-changer, fov, call it bob, call it hacks.exe, call it anything you want, just something you will remember. Next stage is you are going to right click on your zip and you need to extract it. You're going to extract the files to this folder and it's really, really that simple. Doing that will give you what I have. Just to show you guys it's not a virus inside of here, these are the exact same as what I have. They're exact same in, in file size. So the fov-changer.exe is 29433kb, license 35, and source 1. 29433, 1.0 and three and 35. So they're the exact same. In case you guys don't believe me again, if I go to right click and I scan for viruses, complete less than one minute ago, duration zero seconds, one file scanned, zero threats detected, and here's the detail report. I've scanned this a couple of times because a couple it took me a couple of times to make this video. Let me just explain to you guys why this is a .exe because you're running a separate client now, when you install the Minecraft Java version of this, when it comes to Optifine, everything's done in game. So you have the ability to have more video settings down to shaders, quality performance. All these things are done within Minecraft on Java. Now on the Bedrock version, it's not quite possible to fully customize all of these. So you need something separate. 
Now, a lot of people will be worried, and I understand, installing a .exe is something I don't really typically like to do, but I've done it and it works perfectly fine. I did a little bit of research on this as well before installing it. So the best way to compare this is if I was to go to Optifine and install this, down below on the bottom, it's a .jar file and it says, this could be harmful for your computer. It's the exact same for the Bedrock version, but it's done as a .exe folder. Hopefully that clears your mind and, and makes you understand what this is all about. Now at this stage, Make sure you have Minecraft open before you start launching this. Now, what you're gonna do at this point is simply load this up. You can do this just by double clicking and this will pop up, which is FOV Changer. Now, at the moment, like you can move this wherever you want, right? You could, you could just do, put it wherever you want. Can you make this a little bit smaller? You can't make it a little bit smaller, but this, this is what you have. I typically have mine over here, not over here because that's where my face cam is and you'll probably see a couple of things. So number one, it comes up with start. At the moment, it's not connected version. And then you've got features, settings, logs, and info. So features is gonna be FOV. You can change this. I think by default, it's C. And I think on Java, I mentioned the zoom is C. So I'm gonna keep it like that. Uh, you have the ability to edit, which is 76 to 30. So this is how, uh, this might be how far you can zoom in. So if I do like, 100 and save. I think I have to change this on here. Video and we go to like 100. Still messing around with this. We're going to we're going to check that out. You've got the ability to hide your hand or to not hide your hand and I'll show you that in game as well. But before we do any of this, settings you've got start minimized auto attach. So I think auto attach means whenever you load up Minecraft it's gonna automatically load up with it. Attach cooldown, 2000, exit all. You've got logs. You've also got information and you can find the creator on GitHub, the docs, and even their Discord page. If you wanna keep updated with this, go to their Discord and version 1.15. Not the Minecraft version, the version of this. At this point, we press start. So you can see here, it's connected. Version, yes, is fine. FOV, fine. Hide hand, fine. Sensitivity, Discord, etc. Really, 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 really simple at this point. So what we wanna do now, is just go to a Minecraft game. So once you've loaded up your game, I press C, we have the zoom ability. So this, I've kind of found out that this, whatever your FOV is in game, it's probably best to keep the FOV the same in the client as it is in game. So nothing messes up at all. So we've kept that as, as that. So it's a separate, it's a separate program. Like I said, um, hopefully in the future that can change and Modders will have the ability to customize in-game settings, your settings inside of here, the same way as Java, but for now that is how it's done and it's all done. I'm using C, which is the same as the, the Java version. Now, a couple other things with this is like when you move, it doesn't have like a, a slow, smooth and stop to it. It's, it's in real time zoom. I don't think the zoom is as powerful as well though, but it's still incredibly helpful. It's something, a step in the right direction. You can like ultra zoom on the baby eating the grass. Now, this works for solo worlds. It also works for multiplayer servers. And I'm gonna try it today in realms. Now, this is a really cool example as to where we can use this. So you can be like, hmm, I need ores. Kinda hard to see down there, but boom. Iron, coal, gold. If we were lucky, we might be able to see diamonds, but also incredibly helpful for trying to find yourself um, mobs. Oop, oop, see if there's anything else. You've got the, the coal down there. You've got lava down there. Uh, in fact, we're gonna go down there. Yep, we made that jump perfectly fine. And unfortunately, in this video, it doesn't seem to work to find diamonds because we don't have any, oh, that's not good. We don't have any diamonds for you guys. Now with this, you can just simply press F1 and you can also press the keys that you've bound it to, to have a look around, just to keep like a clean view. Or you have the ability to just go to the FOV changer and you've got hide hand. So what this will do is just hide your hand. And you've got sensitivity as well, which I haven't fully messed around with this. Ah, okay, so this is how fast you're gonna be looking around. We're just gonna save that for a second and check that out in, in, in a minute. So if we press this, you can see here that we have our hand. Our hand is still in view when we're doing this. If we change this back to hide hand, when we zoom in, your hand is gone. 
Um, yeah, it's really that simple. Does it really matter? Do you need your hand? It looks a lot better without the hand being there, to be honest with you. Sensitivity. So it's saying here my sensitivity is 60 to 16. So I'm guessing this is going to be within here, down to keyboard and mouse, down to your sensitivity. So if we were to set this to, let's say we set this to 10, we go to this and we set this to 10. I'm guessing this is for looking around. Yeah, so this is just simply for looking around, looking around in a lot slower of a motion. Uh, but that could be quite annoying. And to be totally honest with you guys, I'm quite fine with keeping this to uh, 60 save settings, this, and just keeping this at, at 60. Perfectly fine with doing that. Although, it's, yeah, yeah, I don't think it's too much of a problem there. It's just such a, a helpful feature. So one of the cool things about this guy is it doesn't clash with any add-ons or mods. I have a bunch of custom add-ons installed, resource packs, it doesn't seem to clash with them. And here's a prime example as to why this is perfect. You can literally zoom in on a village. And one of my favorite things about this though is because we're at a distance. If I was in survival and I was on hard and I was kind of worried I might die, we could be able to scout and see if this is a living village or a dead village. I'm like, well, I can't see any cobwebs so it's probably perfectly fine for me to just go over here and check it out. And then lo and behold, the villagers are still alive. So I'm going to show you guys this on a server. I'm also going to check it out and see if it works on realms. Okay, so this has been one of my favorite game modes at the moment. Does this work in servers? It seems to be able to zoom really easy in servers as well. Would I class this as cheating? No. Would I class this as an advantage? Certainly. But hey, we're, we're gamers. Who doesn't want an advantage when you're gaming? I'm just going to wait for the for the warm-up to go off. And we're just going to see how we get on here. But straight away, though, it looks like looks like we're off to a pretty good start. I need to get myself... I'll take these, I guess. We'd be like, we can have a look around. I go like, bam! We can be able to see someone. There they are. Are they coming towards me? No, not a problem. No, not a problem. So we can... What do I have? I don't really have the best of weapons, so let's get myself a weapon. And let's see how we do. So I can see these two fighting it out. He's gonna be done for, isn't he? No, he's okay. I can also be able to check from behind me and check that no one's coming over to me. And it's just really, really simple things like that that make the, the big difference. This guy is like, not even noticed me. So in this case, dude, that's how you get rid of one dude, you know? And just like this. Oh, he's got a better sword than me. He's got a better sword than me. But I beat him. Yeah, so you can just scout around. If someone's really OP with armor, you just be able to see. And this person over there is lonely and they're on the edge, so they might die. Anyway, I'm not here to PvP. I'm here to show you guys where it works and how it works. So let's try out Realm. So I'm on a Realm. It's my Realm. Just so you guys, it's a Realm. We have ourselves feeds and take pictures and all this stuff. Uh, I'm here alone actually and it works perfectly fine too. It actually works Perfectly fine No problem at all. You can see the phantom from a distance as well. Whoa, okay, okay You can see that you're not meant to be in here. So in that case, let's see how the house of oh my god the bow with it The bow so we aim in the middle how it's incredibly accurate because the bow on bedrock is a lot better than it is on Java in terms of accuracy Let's find another animal as a prime example of with the bow. There's gotta be, there's a zombie over there. Let's use this zombie as an example. So we could just stay away and you could just fire them from a distance. Cause on bedrock, they don't pick you up. And get rid of him as well. So it works there. What I do wanna do though, is try to stop this in real time as well. What I mean by this guys is, again, it's still a separate client, right? So if we tap on this and I tap stop, they're disconnected. If we press zoom, trying to press zoom, it doesn't work. So that's good. And if we start this and we press it now, it works in real time. And that is a huge thing for this. Really, really that simple. So full credit to the creator. Check it out for yourself. I have it installed. It's safe. And if you're interested, give it a go. Apart from that, have a great day. Stay beautiful. And I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.